Hi, we are with Terry Ball, Executive Director of Speaking of Stories. How are you doing, Terry? Just fine. How are you this morning? I'm doing good. Thanks for being here with us. Our pleasure. Your organization is an excellent example of how to support the arts here in Santa Barbara. So I would like to start this interview asking you what's the mission of Speaking of Stories? Speaking of Stories' is, mission is to promote the appreciation of literature. And we do that through two main programs. Our, our primary program is a performance program um, that we perform. We have a season of performances here at Center Stage Theater, which is where we're sitting, from January through May. And professional actors perform uh, short story literature. We want to support authors and support the art of reading and writing. And then our second program is an educational program that we call Word Up which works with primarily at-risk youth, teenagers, teaching them to perform poetry and short stories. Before going to the stories, tell me a little bit about the history behind Speaking of Stories. When was it founded and by who? Speaking of Stories was founded in 1994 by Steve Gilbar, who was an attorney in town and is an anthologist and is the most avid reader and kind of renaissance man that I've ever met. He uh, is also a visual artist. But Steve had been to Selected Shorts and being a very entrepreneurial go-getter guy said, well, there's no reason I can't do this here. And so he, though he had no performance background, um, he started the very first series and it evolved from, you know, Steve informally kind of bringing together some people to, mm -hmm. to read stories to we have a professional director who selects all the stories and you know works with the actors. I want to talk exactly about the stories. So based on what are they decide? Uh, Maggie Michael, who is our artistic director, selects all the stories. And it really is a very complex putting together of a puzzle. Usually we'll have four to five stories structured around a specific theme. It could be humor, could be foreign fiction. Sometimes it's a particular author. We've done an evening of all T.C. Boyle stories. T.C. Boyle is actually a wonderful supporter of our program and reads almost every year. He's been incredibly generous and a wonderful, wonderful supporter. Other times we'll do just a collection of stories and the theme that holds them together is they're all great stories. You know, we try to do within the course of a season um, a mix of both, both approaches to How many night. performances do you per year or per season? We do five performances roughly January, February, March, April, and May, and then it will perform Sunday afternoon at 2 and Monday night at 7.30. And then throughout the course of the year, we usually will do one to two other performances. We did a, a show several years ago that worked with an ensemble, a live musical ensemble, and it was fairy tales, but they were all set to music. So the readers were reading, and then there was a live musical accompaniment. Lovely. Yeah, so we try to do one to two things a year that are a real departure from our regular season. And Terry, who's helping you sponsoring all these performances? Um, we are very, very dependent uh, on uh, donations. Uh, we've had a lot of wonderful support through the year from most of the foundations in town, the Tobes Foundation, the Santa Barbara Foundation, Montecito Bank and Trust, and then individual donors. Funds are, are of the utmost importance. Um, and obviously on our website, there's information on how you can donate. Maybe this will be yeah, a great time <laughs> to, you can, you to can, lead our viewers over there. Uh, our website is speakingofstories.org, um, and it's got information on all of the performances, uh, all of the Word App program information, pictures from past things, and, and how you can donate and become involved, and also how you can get tickets to come to our performances. Terry, thank you for all that information. And next, we're going to bring Artistic Director Maggie Maxell, who will tell us more about this great profit organization, Speaking of Stories. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. My pleasure. We are back here at Speaking of Stories, and with us is Artistic Director Maggie Maxell. How are you doing, Maggie? I'm fine, thank <laughs> I'm you. I'm so glad you're here with us. You do an excellent job for this nonprofit organization. And I would like to start by um, asking you about your own background and when did you decide to be part of Speaking of Stories? Um, my background is in theater. I started uh, my theatrical career as a stage manager locally. I went back to school at the university to get my degree in directing and then I've been mainly teaching in the area at both City College and the university. Excellent. So what's the role of an artistic director? 
Well, in this particular case, I choose all of the material. I read and select all of the stories, and then I assign those stories to actors, and then I direct the actors into the story. Now, how do you select your actors? I first select the stories, mm -hmm. because then I match the material to the actor. I've been in town for many years, and I've seen people perform, and I know their style and what I think is best suited to them. Now, tell me more about the rehearsal time. How, how long does it take to put a performance together? It takes a lot of time, particularly for the actor. Mm -hmm. uh, I meet with the actor. We have an initial reading. I give them a lot of notes. We have a discussion about the material, and then they take it home and work on it. And depending on the actor and the material and the length of the piece, we could have one, two, three, or four more rehearsals after that. And it's a collaboration between the actor and myself and finding the meaning and the sub-meanings and the subtext of the material. It takes a lot more work than people would think to put a performance of a read, non-memorized story on stage. How can our audience, our people, participate or get involved with Speaking of Stories? If you'd like to suggest stories, uh, the website has uh, contact information for me, and I'm always happy to receive suggestions. Sometimes there are authors out there that I've never heard of that um, people suggest, and I can go and read the books. Actors who are interested in reading, please contact me through the website as well. Well, thank you, Maggie, for all that information. As okay. I said before, you do an excellent job here for Speaking of Stories, and I really wish the best for you and all the staff members at this great nonprofit organization. Thank you. Thank you. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.svchannels.tv.